We're here on actually. <laughs> We're here on Glad Rap Channel, and it is my first time I'm ever doing this. We've got John Parker. How's it going? Hey, you Ben. It's going good. Hey, hi, Glad Rap Channel. How? Hello, out there in listener the world. Um, so, I heard that you might have a nickname for yourself now. Uh, yeah, there's. Um, I'm still tossing between two, but um, on the night fight night, I'll be using the nickname Stinsner. Stinsner. Yeah, Stinsner. What, what, what does that mean? That's uh, my German. You, My German name. Oh, your German name? Yeah. So, Stinza is uh, German for. Sorry, uh, John. <laughs> no, 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 it's a German family name. Oh, really? Oh, no, that, that makes sense. So, yeah. well, I, I was going to make a list for all the nicknames that we should give to Joseph because he doesn't really use a nickname, but I, we could use it for you instead. Oh, one nickname we've been using for Joe is um, Explosive Joseph. Explosive Joseph. What, <laughs> what was that? Um, didn't Lennox Lewis uh, gave him a nickname at one point? Oh, I'm sure he did. Yeah, probably. Uh, but how about the Samoan sniper? Yeah. Samoan sniper. Oh, yeah, that's got a that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, Samoan yeah. sniper. Yeah. There was this uh, women's boxer um, who retired a couple of years ago from similar thing from you with a um, brain yeah. aneurysm. Oh, yeah. um, but she he didn't want to continue fighting after it. Uh, but she who now uh, uh, sorry name dropped for Kirsty out there who reached eighth in the world at one point. Um, but yeah, she was uh, known as Samoan sniper. You could take that. Oh, she's used the name already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't no. think I can take that. Yeah. She's already used it. Oh, you ask her permission. I'll, I'll ask you later, Kirsty. Um, but enough about uh, Joseph. We're focusing on you. You you looked amazing on the scales today. Oh, yeah, thanks. No, I'm definitely trimmed down for this fight. Um, for the first fight, when they announced it, I was going to fight at Cruiserweight. When they announced the postponement, yeah. I went and I talked to the team, and then we decided to drop away the division, so I fought it light heavy because of the postponement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was always your original plan, wasn't it? It was at one at some stage, but um, not for this fight. Yeah. But yeah, since the postponement, then we made the executive decision to <laughs> drop down. Now the light heavyweight division has been um, quite small since like Robert Berridge and uh, Sam Rapera and Reese Papuni. They've all they slowly started dropping down like flies and retiring and stuff like that. But now we're starting to see like this. Uh, resurgence of light heavyweights. We've got you now, um, Jerome Pampelone, wherever he is, uh, Jesse Mayo and Nick the Greek is now wanting to go down to uh, light heavyweights. Massive fights, uh, Potential. Are you looking for those fights? No, no, definitely. Anyone and everyone. And those names that you mentioned are big names and I'd love to share the ring with them at some stage. I've had a few rounds of Nick and um, sparring. He's definitely a heavy-handed fighter and um, yeah, we've had a few talks and he said that yeah, he's definitely keen to drop down to light heavyweight as well. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, um, you're coming down 10 kgs uh, from cruiserweight to uh, light heavyweight. What sort of things do you do to cut down on that diet? Oh, the main thing is just eating, yeah. eat clean, eat the right foods, eat it at the right times, eat the right amounts, and training's still the same, you know, train hard. Like I said to Liney Daniels, stop eating all the pies. <laughs> oh man, I love me a pie. After the fight, I'm going to have a pie. Yeah. Always blow on the pie, save the communities together. <laughs> what, what's your favourite pie? My favourite pie? Uh, good old steak and cheese pie. Steak and cheese. Yeah. Oh. What about you Josh, what's your favourite pie? I think I like um, a mince, mince pie, yeah. Mince pie. You're going for the classic. Yeah, I, lo I love the mince, mince pie. Yeah. So what was uh, training um, like going into this? Training's been awesome. I'm training now under Cam Todd from Rick Room. And uh, during the time I've been with him, we've had massive progress. We've learned um, a lot about each other and uh, we, the chemistry is great. We gel perfectly together and uh, yeah, I see us working together for a long time. Yeah, and you get to um, you trained a lot more this time with uh, Joseph as well. Um, it's kind of a completely different training camp for both of you because you get to interact with each other more. Yeah, a lot of the times that when I train with Cam, we get to focus on each other. But when I train with Joe, I'm more kind of uh, learning the ropes from him. He yeah. takes me through a few drills. Um, sometimes we do it together, and I push him through some areas that I'm um, a little bit better at than him at. <laughs> some of the fitness drills. But then there's definitely a lot that he's um, showing me that he's definitely better than me and uh, I'm learning from him. It's funny because, like, um, well not funny, but it's interesting because years ago he used to say that you were the better boxer <laughs> uh, growing up. Oh, he's always said that, but I think what he really meant was um, I was just more naturally talented. He was definitely the harder worker and that's why he's, got, he's um, you know, now experiencing the fruits of his labours. He's put in the hard work, he's done the hard yards and uh, he's always been... Uh, a great athlete, a great sportsman, and um, yeah, that, that's why where he's at, where he's at now. Yeah. He's always said that he will probably finish his career around 32, um, age of 32-ish, so that's just like about five years away. Uh, do you have like an aim where you want to think, okay, that's enough for my career? I don't really have a time frame, but I do have goals, and um, ultimately is to be 
where he was. Yeah. And um, that's definitely his goal to, uh, to get back to where he was and then to supersede where that was. So, um, but you know, um, I'm just starting up. Yeah, just starting up again. So, you know, gotta, gotta, um, gotta be realistic and first of all and foremost, gotta go after that New Zealand belt. Yeah. Can't, can't look at the world belt if I don't have the New Zealand belt. Which one, cruiserweight or light heavy? Oh, be nice to have both. <laughs> both at the same time, holding both titles, like just walking around town. And, like I'm the New Zealand champion. If I, if I manage to get the light heavy one, and uh, if I can defend that a few times, then why not jump up to cruiser? And, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a good plan. And eventually, maybe even go to heavyweight, down, 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 down the line. Uh, I think I'm a little, I'm a little short for heavyweight. <laughs> but <laughs> or go to super middle. <laughs> Is it, ooh. Ooh. There's an idea. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the admission there. He will go super middle down, this, <laughs> down the line. <laughs> hey, don't, 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 don't go any louder than that. No, no. Don't say featherweight. Phantom weight. Um, so you had that one injury years ago, um, and that's put your career on hold for such a long time. Has that always been in the back of your mind, or are you trying to push through that? Um, so I've just found out recently that um, all, those, um, ex- all those scans that I've had, we're actually misdiagnosis, so I've just had a recent um, scan for this fight, and then I told them that I had a little um, a little case before with a previous scan. So they looked through those files and um, they didn't find anything. Oh. So it was a misdiagnosis, and uh, I'm all I'm all clear. Well, you're all here, and you're ready to um, start off your career. And I, I'm actually really excited because I've seen you fight a couple of times in person now. With a, I even judged your your fight, my 100th fight <laughs> as a professional boxing judge. I, it was a big honour for me. <laughs> you said it was a big honour for you, but it's a big honour for me. No, to it was an awesome honour because that was my first comeback fight after four years after that injury. That, yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that fight in um, at uh, Sky City, we have uh, Sky City Theatre down there. You can see the Sky Tower that over there. Um, that was a great fight, being back on TV as well. Oh yeah, no, that was an awesome fight, and I, I, was, I actually knew the guy that I was fighting. Oh. We used to train together back in the day. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> was he t- uh, was he tougher in the ring as a as your opponent or as a trainer? Oh, oh look, no, he didn't train. We we trained together. Oh yeah. But um, back in the day, he definitely beat me up a lot. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so it was my kind of my my time to kind of give back what he gave me. <laughs> so now you're fighting against this guy who's had a mess uh, a massive. Uh, I don't know much too much about his uh, record, but I know he has had an amateur record. He's been to New Zealand national champions multiple times. I think he's a North Island Golden Gloves champion. Yep. Um, so this is probably a tougher fight because he's got that pedigree to him. Uh, what do you think about your opponent? Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely got some um, amateur credentials. Um, he's made a, a good name for himself in the amateur ranks. Uh, he's definitely won some titles and he has my respect as a fighter in there, so I'm not taking this lightly. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to give him all the respect he deserves. But at the same time, I'm going to do what I do. And I'm not going to let him get in the way of me trying to fulfill my game plan. And I'm just going to do my best. Yeah, not make, sh- make sure you don't have too much respect. As I actually said that to Junior Farr uh, the other day. It's like, do you have too much respect for Joseph Parker? I said, no, when it's in the ring, it's all business. It's kind of like what, uh, what all fighters need to have. You have your, that respect, but that respect is gone once you're in the ring. Oh, no, no, I, I respect them, but I'm going to respect them with punches. <laughs> I love that, because you, you need to have that respect that you want to bring that A game. Oh, very A+. Plus. A plus. Okay, one final thing. Look down to that camera because this is my new thing I've been doing these days. Look down to the camera, take this microphone and say to your opponent what you're going to do in a WWE sort of promo. Take what you're going to do to him. All right, Ikelani title. This is John Parker coming at you saying, watch out for Saturday night. (laughs) Here he is, John Parker.